So you could make the best YouTube videos in the world, but the truth is, if your thumbnails suck, no one's going to watch them. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why thumbnails are so important, whether you should outsource thumbnail creation or DIY it yourself. I'm gonna give you some of the tools that I use and show you my exact thumbnail process for when I used to design them. And I'm also gonna show you some practical tips of how you can create YouTube thumbnails using AI. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome, my name is Ryan, and I'm a YouTuber who grew this channel from nothing to over 15,000 subscribers in just 15 months, while also earning four figures a month and counting just from this channel. And if you wanna know some of the marketing tools and AI systems that I've used to help build this channel, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So first of all, I believe that YouTube thumbnails are actually more important than the video itself. And that sounds crazy to some people, but think about it. YouTube thumbnails are so crucial because they're the first visual impression that viewers get when they search for something in the search bar on YouTube or Google, or they're looking for videos in their discover tab. These are influencing whether someone clicks a video and watches it. And I'll tell you this from experience and actual data in my YouTube dashboard, a compelling YouTube thumbnail can significantly impact a video's click-through rate, which then affects views, engagement, and even rankings in YouTube search results. So what I'm saying here is that you absolutely cannot cheap out on the YouTube thumbnail creation process. And if you're doing it yourself, this means investing in tools like Photoshop, uh, maybe Canva Pro, maybe some you know, Mid Journey or ChatGPT Plus. You just need to invest in proper tools. You can't skimp by using the free version of Canva. I'll show you some of my oldest thumbnails on my channel. You'll notice right here, these suck. I'm just gonna be completely honest. This is when I first started YouTube. You'll see a year ago right here. These thumbnails are terrible. They didn't move the needle and you can scroll down and look at some of my, this one's terrible too. Some of my other bad thumbnails here, but this was when I was first getting into it and starting to understand how this stuff actually works. And if you compare it to my popular videos, you'll notice the stark difference. And one of the reasons why these videos are doing better than those videos of the past is thumbnails. Look at this Blaze AI review thumbnail, for example. This is one of my best thumbnails that my designer has ever created, in my opinion. This one video has probably made me four or $5,000 because I rank high for the keyword Blaze AI review on YouTube and Google. And I know that the thumbnail is one of the most important reasons behind that. Same with top 10 AI tools for marketing. That video has over 100,000 views. Same with several of these other ones if you guys wanna navigate around my channel. And when it comes to outsourcing, I currently outsource all my thumbnails now. I will leave my designer's email in the video description below if you guys wanna use him. And for full transparency, I currently pay him $500 a month for unlimited thumbnails, unlimited revisions, and he has a 24 to 48 hour turnaround time. That is huge when it comes to the AI world as I need thumbnails quickly for things like AI news when Claude 4 drops or Google had some huge AI updates. So I need a thumbnail in 24 hours, right? When you're looking to outsource, look at quality, look at reviews, but also look at turnaround time. If you're doing anything news related, that is just an important element to consider when outsourcing thumbnails. I would recommend overall that you look at outsourcing your thumbnails versus doing it yourself. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself with AI, but the reason is to build a successful channel, in my opinion, you need to let experts handle the design element. And that way you can focus on the actual recording of the video, the content that you're talking about in the video, monetization opportunities, strategy, and all the other elements that go into growing a channel. So how do I know what makes a thumbnail good or not? And by no means am I this huge graphic design expert, but I do understand some of the elements on what moves the needle on a certain thumbnail over others. And so in this example, I'm on a private browser of YouTube. I typed in Blaze AI review. Notice how my video is ranking one, again, largely due to my thumbnail. And if you scroll down, this second thumbnail is okay. I don't necessarily like this one from Skillcraft AI. This one's okay, so on and so forth. But how am I making these judgments? right? What elements actually go into a quality thumbnail? 
Well, first of all, I believe that you should have a face in the thumbnail that shows emotion and not just any face, not like a stock image face. Ideally, it should be the face of you, the creator. Notice how I have here me pointing and I'm pointing right to the laptop that shows Blaze AI. That's very attention grabbing. This guy, I believe this is the creator. He's smiling. I like this type of expression where he's thinking, is it worth it or not, right? Some facial expression that ends up showing emotion is a big deal. If you look at all the big creators, we'll take Mr. Beast, for example, almost, I believe every single one of his thumbnails shows his face showing some emotion. So that is the first element that's super important. Another element that's very important is text in the thumbnail, not a paragraph of text, but about two to three words that are extremely legible and ideally should be after the target keyword. Target keyword here is Blaze AI Review. Notice how I have Blaze AI Review right there. Same with the second thumbnail, Blaze Full Review. This guy doesn't have it, but some of them also have it as well. Blaze, make content with AI, legit or scam, right? So I think that you should have two or three words going after the primary keyword, but also look at the text on that thumbnail. Notice how Blaze AI also jumps out. So you want to have some contrast in here as well and not just make it, you know, white or black text that kind of blends in with the background and it's hard to read. You want to make the text very legible and also in a way that stands out. Now inside a thumbnail, you also want to have only one clear visual focus, one main focal point. So again, let's look at my thumbnail as an example. What is the main focal point here? Well, it's Blaze AI. Notice how I'm pointing towards that area of focus. It's that computer. It's the Blaze AI interface. That's what I want you to look at in that thumbnail. This one here doesn't really have it. This one technically has it with the arrow pointing to Blaze. This one has it with the Blaze interface on the computer and the guy looking at the screen. This one has it with the girl looking at Blaze AI, right? So you wanna have one main area of focus in a thumbnail that you can guide someone to in probably a split second because people's attention spans aren't very big these days. So this is a very important element. And the last point I want to make about quality YouTube thumbnails is that your style should be somewhat consistent in my opinion. Now I'm not using the same colors, the same branding or logos or anything like that. But what you do notice about my thumbnails is it's very consistent in terms of my facial expression. I'm typically pointing at one main area of focus. My text looks the same. I typically have an image on the left and I'm pointing towards that image. That way an audience can help resonate with maybe they see a video in the future and they might remember that my thumbnails look like that. So I'm kind of now in their head of, oh yeah, that's Ryan Dozer because I remember his thumbnail style where he's typically pointing at something. So you want to kind of resonate in a viewer's head of just having a consistent style. Even big creators like Mr. Beast again, for instance, they all have a consistent thumbnail style. I'm not saying again, he uses the same colors the same branding, but what's super consistent about Mr. Beast is he always has himself in the thumbnails showing a facial expression, showing emotion. So just having consistency across the board in your thumbnails can really help things. So enough about the design elements. Let's get a little more tactical here. And now I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can create thumbnails using AI. Again, I now outsource all of my thumbnails. I will leave the email of my designer in the description below if you guys wanna use him. But if you do wanna create your own YouTube thumbnails, first a few housekeeping items that I would strongly recommend. Number one, I'd recommend using either Adobe Photoshop or Canva and also creating a template. So you'll notice right here, I have this highlighted in green. I have a Photoshop template of a YouTube thumbnail. The important thing to note here is that the size is 1280 by 720 pixels. That is best practices for a YouTube thumbnail size. And I can leave this PSD file in the description below if you guys use Photoshop and you wanna use this, but just keep that in mind. The other housekeeping item I would recommend you guys have ready is a bunch of headshot PNG files showing different facial expressions. So here what I did is I literally clicked open the photo booth application on my computer and just started taking pictures of myself using different facial expressions. So you'll notice here, if I just kind of zoom in, you'll notice here I have all these different facial expressions of me pointing, the shush one, uh, the, this one, the thumbs up, the, this one, oh my God, right? So what you wanna do is have all of these thumbnail PNGs of headshots, even if you're gonna outsource your thumbnails, you should still have these, that way you can send them to your designer and they can just kind of mix and match different thumbnail creations. But those are the housekeeping items. You wanna have a template, of 1280 by 720 pixels, either in Photoshop or Canva. And you also want to have a compilation of different, of different headshots showing different emotions as PNG files.
So now I'm gonna show you a few ways to actually create these thumbnails using AI. And in this instance, I'm on ChatGPT+. You can use Midjourney, Adobe Firefly. I'm sure there's other AI image tools out there for thumbnails, but I'd recommend being on Plus so you get more usage of the 4.0 image generation model. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a prompt inside my community. Now this is inside the classroom of my AI prompts database. I'm using the YouTube prompts and I will leave this prompt in the video description below. And I'm gonna find one for YouTube thumbnail. Here it is right here. So I'm gonna copy this, come back to ChatGPT, make sure I'm on the 4.0 model. I'm gonna click create image. That's gonna prompt the image generation. And then I'm gonna paste that prompt. Now, before I go ahead and hit enter, you'll notice that I have placeholders. So in this instance, let's say I wanna make a video about the best AI tools for marketing. Again, you can apply this to any video topic, but I'm gonna want this, my text to be, let's do AI tools for marketing. That's the text that I want on my thumbnail. Over a background that symbolizes, then I'm gonna do AI and marketing. The color scheme should be related to the topic and my branding. This is also important. If you have a company logo or a brand logo, I would recommend uploading that. That way it can actually incorporate that into the thumbnail. And then here I have the background should include blah, 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 insert a theme of. So then I wanna insert AI and marketing. The design should be suitable for a blog post header with an, this is important, an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And again, back to the dimensions of 1200 by 628. So then what I'm gonna do is click enter and I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this output is complete. All right, so in about a minute, this is the thumbnail that ChatGPT came up with. And it's not perfect by any means, but it got the text correctly, it's spelled right. I like the colors, the backgrounds relevant. Where I'm going with this is we can use this as a starting point for our background. Now, again, if you don't like this, you can redo the prompt. You can come down here, ask it to redo this, take away that, add this element, et cetera. But for the purposes of this example, I'm just gonna use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna save this image and I drag it over to my desktop right here. And then what I'm going to do is open Adobe Photoshop. I'm gonna open that file for my YouTube thumbnail. And then what I'm gonna do is drag that image over here. I'm gonna drag out the thumbnail image so it fits in those dimensions. And here we go. Now I'm not gonna use this yet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a headshot PNG. So I'm gonna open up my folder of headshot PNGs and you can use whatever you want here. I'm just gonna show you a quick example. Let's say I wanna use this one of me pointing, right? Now it's not perfect by any means and I'd probably have to redo this so the text isn't necessarily in the way. But again, I could throw in something like this. I'm not saying that's perfect either. I'm just showing you what you can do with this. Or if I wanted to add me pointing, I could add me pointing. Maybe I wanna decrease this a little bit so it doesn't have as big, so I can add me pointing there. And then let's say I could even make this a little better. So I have some AI logos, right? Let's say I wanna add Claude in here and I wanna add the Claude logo. So I could put the Claude logo on the top right. We could put that there. Maybe I want the ChatGPT logo. So I could grab a ChatGPT logo that I have ready to go and maybe throw it up here or throw it down here, right? You guys see where I'm going with this. You can use AI and ChatGPT to help you with the background of your YouTube thumbnail or Canva. You can use Canva to help you with it as well. Drag this into Canva and then drag and drop files, drag and drop the logos, the headshots, the images, etc. Again, I'm not an expert in graphic design, but this is what I did for six months. It was just trying and failing, trying and failing until I kept getting thumbnails that were more suitable for my channel and kept moving the needle. So that's the very first way you can use AI to help with YouTube thumbnails. Now I'm gonna show you another way. But before I show you another way, I almost forgot a very important step. Let's say I wanna use this as my thumbnail. Now what I would do in Photoshop, if you wanna save this, you're gonna click File, you're gonna click Export, and then Quick Export as PNG. This is a super important step. You always wanna name the thumbnail, thumbnail whatever your target keyword is. This is a very little detail of SEO that a lot of YouTubers and creators miss out on. So in this instance, I would do AI tools for marketing as my file name of this YouTube thumbnail. And then I would click save. Again, that's a super, super little detail, but it is very important. So I wanted to call that out. So now I'm gonna show you another way that you can create YouTube thumbnails using AI, and this is called a face swap. So I posted about this about a month or two ago where I took one of Mr. B's thumbnails and with ChatGPT's 4.0 image generation model, I took Mr. B's thumbnail and then swapped it to this thumbnail with my face here on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this, but in a more practical way that applies to marketing or whatever your niche is. And so what you wanna do first 
is you wanna open up YouTube and type in whatever the topic is of the video that you wanna create. So in this instance, I did best AI tools marketing. So I'm gonna find a thumbnail here that I like that I can face swap or kinda use this as a reference. I like this one, that's not bad. It has almost 300,000 views. I like this one right here. Uh, that has 109,000 views. That's a good one as well. Uh, and there's some other ones down here too that you can find. But let's say for the purposes of this example, I'm just gonna pull this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click share and I'm gonna get this URL of this YouTube video. Then what you wanna do is open up a YouTube thumbnail downloader. And I will leave a link to this website. And this is another website that I found works well too. I'll leave links to both of those in the description below this video. Now what you can do is paste that URL and then it'll pop up the thumbnail right here. Then you wanna click download. And then what you wanna do is save image as, save it to your desktop. You can do you know YouTube thumbnail example or name it whatever you want, click save. And that is the very first step. Now what we wanna do is pull up ChatGPT. Make sure we're on the 4.0 image generation model. Then click create image. And now I'm gonna head over to my community and you'll see I have a prompt dedicated for the YouTube thumbnail face swap. I will leave this in the description below as well. Then I'm going to copy and paste this prompt, come back to ChatGPT, paste it in here, and let's read through this now. Replace the face in the thumbnail with my face as exact as possible. So we need to upload a few files here. I'm gonna click add photos and files, add photos and files again. I'm gonna upload first a headshot of myself smiling. This is important, you wanna have quality headshots. It'll just improve the final outputs of this scenario. Then what I also wanna do is upload that original thumbnail. So let's go ahead and find that thumbnail here on my desktop, here it is right here. So now I have uploaded those two files. So let's go through the prompt. Replace the face in the thumbnail with my face as exact as possible. Swap the logo, I've attached the change the background color. So in this instance, there are no logos or background colors that I wanna swap necessarily. So I'm gonna remove that part. I might just need to update that prompt altogether. Also change the text to, and again, there's no text in this image as well. Typically thumbnails have text. That's why I've incorporated it in the prompt. I'm gonna remove that part as well. It's not relevant in this particular example. Keep the original aspect ratio of the thumbnail, 1920 by 1080. That's super important to leave in there. And then I'm gonna click enter, and then I'm gonna skip ahead and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. All right, so this is the output that ChatGPT came up with. And let's click into this to look more. Now it's a little creepy here, obviously with my face and smiling. My teeth aren't that big. My face is a little morph there, but you guys get the idea. It's not horrible. It kind of looks like me to some extent, minus that huge smile. Um, but other than that, all the logos are correct. The background's correct. The computer's correct. Everything else in this thumbnail is exactly like the other one or the original thumbnail with my face cropped in. I ran another example using a different headshot of mine, and that even looks worse. It's kind of creepy the way that I'm smiling there. But you guys get the idea. What's cool about that, it even replaced the jacket, I'm noticing. So it's even incorporated my jacket that I'm wearing, replace it over the original outfit. But again, it kept all the original logos and everything else in the background to, together. Now it may take some iterations to get this right, but again, you could save this, you could use this thumbnail as your own and do whatever. And again, I've gotten some better iterations with this, like I showed you in the Mr. Beast thumbnail example, and I've also gotten some better outputs before. But this whole thing is literally trial and error. I wanna know what you guys can create, and I'm excited to maybe see your creations in the future with these thumbnail face swaps, but this is just another way that you can create YouTube thumbnails with the help of AI. So if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this kind of masterclass video and everything about YouTube thumbnails. And if you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also leave me a comment below. Are there any other strategies here that I miss? Maybe some expert designers can chime in the comments. Really wanna hear your guys' thoughts. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.